Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making an Easter card since Easter is less than a week away by the time this is uploaded. So I'm going to be using the stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It is Chirpy Chirp Chirp. It is adorable and as soon as I seen it come out I had to buy it. So we're going to be using that one today. And I'm also going to be using a grass type of die from our next your next stamp and it's called chunky grass as well as I'm going to be using the die cuts from Simon Says Stamp Stitch Rectangles. I'm going to be using the second largest and third largest one to create the frame out of cardstock and foam for this is I'm going to make it a shaker card and I have some little flower sequins that I got from eBay as well that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the foam and paper pieces and glue them together and set those aside for after. And now I'm just going to be taking the two shades of green cardstock that I've cut the grassy shape out of and I've cut them each about an inch to an inch and a half. That way I could overlay them and still have a bit of other layer visible underneath. I'm just going to adhere those together, flipping some backwards and frontwards, and then place those onto my card and trim off the edges for the excess overhang. So once I adhered that onto my card, the next step was to stamp out my characters. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It is supposed to be Copic friendly. I, however, don't find it to be. I'm thinking once again I got the wrong one. But I'm going to stamp these out and color them in with Copic markers. I'm going to die cut them out and then I will be back for the assembly. Now I'm going to stamp on my sentiments and I'm going to use the main sentiment from the stamp set, the Chirpy Chirp Chirp, which unfortunately doesn't fit in the window of the card nor would it fit on the frame. So I'm going to partially ink it and double stamp it so that it is on two lines instead of one. And then the next step is to start adhering all the little bits and pieces into place. And for everything, I am using the Ranger Multi-Medium Matte for my adhesive. Now I've sped this part up again because once again, it's the process that takes me a while to do. I usually go do a few pieces and I end up stopping doing something else, going back, doing a few pieces. So there's a lot of times that Things get edited out and things don't get in the video or they get sped up by quite a bit. But after this, the only other thing that I do is I do my window card. Now, you won't see it until a little bit later in the video, but what I do is I save all of my packaging. So I've probably mentioned this in other videos before, but whenever you order embossing folders or anything like that it comes with a hard plastic um, not as hard as the embossing folder of course but like a hard plastic packaging and I save all of those because you can use page protectors or I believe it's called acetate or anything along those lines but to purchase them I know locally acetate is insane so I don't bother online it's possible but it's still I find fairly expensive and page protectors while well, I don't find they look that nice there's other options as well but I'm not something I've tried yet but I do like using the packaging and I save it for that specific reason because you can cut it down to almost any size it is solid it is not going to rip or tear or scratch up very easily if your sequins inside are rough or anything like that so it's definitely a plus for it and I tend to use that one a lot um, that's that's pretty much the main reason and I know I at this point I even tell my boyfriend if he gets anything with packaging like that to save me the packaging so I've got quite a few of those stocked up also I want to mention at this point here um, I do have to say at the beginning of the video You've seen I put the foam and the paper, I adhered them together and I set them aside. 
that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> I noticed that at this point when I had to peel them apart because it does have to, your sequins need a place to rest. So if you adhere the foam and the plastic or the paper together, when you put the plastic on, it goes on the foam, which lays flush against the card. So you actually have to put the plastic on the foam and then adhere the paper on top of that layer of plastic. So very sorry for the confusion. I have just realized that. So there I adhere the it properly. And from there you just add your sequins on the card. You adhere your frame onto there. Foam to the card base, I should say. And that would be it for that. So I know the voiceover on this is very off. I have been out of it for the last week or so I haven't really been into much of this stuff I've been very busy cleaning and organizing and you know spring cleaning that time of year so also redoing the entire craft room so that's another reason there hasn't been very much activity so I will probably do a craft room tour or walk around or just kind of a quick look through at some point in the near future, I am almost done organizing it. I just took a quick break to come and do this quick. That way there's at least something going up. And as usual, subscribe if you like it. Comment down below if there's anything you want to see me do or want to see me try. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, happy crafting.